Shalom. Koholoyim, wakabat, la Yahawa, ba Hashem Yahushai, ba Hashem Arachak Wadash. That's all praises and honor to the Most High, in the name of only God the Son. In the name of the Holy Spirit, double honor to the elder apostles and bishops of the great millstone who rule well. Peace, blessings, and salutations unto the hopeful elect tabernacle of David, scattered throughout the four corners of the earth. Now, watch this little clip. And this is from uh, Comedy Central. I'm not sure what the name of this cartoon is. But um, this is another indicator that, you know, what we're doing, you know, as vessels of Yahweh Shemiah Shai, you know, putting this word out, you know, out there on the highways and byways, you know, making this word known unto our people. The world is seeing what we what we do, even to the point where now, I mean, which, you know, isn't is not, you know, this is nothing new. They've been doing it, but, you know, there's just uh, another obvious uh, blatant uh, display of showing that they're watching. You know, they know. All right, they know that we're the, 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 the prophets. They know that we're the true children of Israel. So now they have to, uh, you know, put it out there and just in a form of comedy and use mockery. All right. So uh, just let's just 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 pay attention real quick, and it's it's very short. All right. Oh my! Oh no! Impossible! Oh no! Oh, Lenny, call out the bosses. Tell us to put beef for an emergency session. That's shown without a doubt through the aid of the Bible and archaeology that these people who call themselves the children of Israel are snakes and liars. Mushrooms stuffed with crab meat. Thanks. Thanks a lot. Clearly, the Jews have taken the first step in summoning their Messiah. The Catholic Church is prepared to weaponize our plutonium. We can have... Let me run that back. This ain't good. Oh, my. Oh, no. Impossible. Oh, no. Oh, Lenny, call out the buses. Tell us to put beef for an emergency session. That's shown without a doubt through the aid of the Bible and archaeology that these people who call themselves the children of Israel are snakes and liars. Mushrooms served with crab meat. Thanks. Thanks a lot. Clearly, the Jews have taken the first step in summoning their Messiah. The Catholic Church is prepared to weaponize our plutonium. We can have missiles ready to launch in no time. We will do this. So, as you can see, you know, this is clearly a mockery. But they always have a way of showing the truth in, in jest. All right? That's why it's on Comedy Central, which we know you break down the word comedy. And uh, I think it goes back to uh, Spanish, comid, which means to eat. You know, it's like food for your mind, food for thought, so to speak. All right. But um, they're watching. All right, what we're doing is, is uh, like it says in Isaiah 13, you know, we lifting up that banner upon that high mountain. All right, that government, that exalted government, all right, which is uh, America. And, you know, we're fending a hand that, you know, we may uh, go into the gates of the nobles. So, you know, what we're doing is, is getting the attention of everybody, including the higher ups. Or else, you know, why would our light, why uh, would our likeness be uh, displayed, you know, in these uh, different movies, these uh, cartoons? You know, we're talked about all over the place, man. And uh, this little clip right here is pretty much, it looks like, you know, um, it's pretty much the end. And everybody's, uh, you know, watching. And then while they know that it's getting ready to be the end, it's, it looks like it's about, about to be war. The Lord's probably about to come back. And then they show this little, uh, <laughs> this this uh, yacht or whatever they own. You got the Israelites on there serving the damn Pope. <laughs> But they're basically telling the Pope to his face that those people that call themselves the true children of Israel are, are, are liars and snakes. You know, and they're they're pretty much like, oh, shit. But the Pope is like, oh, well, you know, we'll, we'll launch missiles in a heartbeat. 
All right, which you know that we know that the the Pope and the Vatican represents the false prophet. But uh, we're in we're in those days, man, and his his gospel is being preached worldwide. You know what did the Lord say? You know, once uh, you know this word reaches through all the four corners, then the end shall come. Was it Matthew twenty four? Yeah, Matthew twenty four and fourteen. It says, "In this gospel of this of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations." So everybody will, you know, behold and witness. You know the the prophets and the servants, the apostles, you know, out there, and they're going to be preaching a, a, a particular message. They're going to be singing a new song that the world's never heard before. All right, and you know, many people are going to be offended. All right, uh, it's going to spark persecution, you know, slander, so on and so forth. But out of that comes what? It's going to be a lot of fruit, a lot of the elect being sealed and gathered. And then shall the end come. Now we we're we're certain we're certainly at the end because the Lord is showing them signs. All right, major earth, devastating earthquakes, you know, taking out tens of thousands of people. Earthquakes happening in diverse places. Pestilences everywhere. People dying. You know. Oh, it's, it's, it's a lot going on. Okay. Uh, food shortages. People getting desperate. The, the, they're they're, they're uh, reshaping the global economic structure. They're getting ready to usher in the MOTB. While you got false prophets that's still in denial. Or trying to, you know, combat, you know, that uh, understanding. So it's it's all coming to fruition. All right. So we're there, man. And also, you know, they was all looking at the TV and they were all saying, uh oh, you know, like they were fearful that something was getting ready to happen. You go to Revelation 11. One of the things that these nations are in fear of. Is is the fact that the true Israelites are coming back to their heritage and they're you know learning the truth and remembering themselves in the land of their captivity? Uh, Revelation eleven and eleven it says, and after three days and a half, the spirit of life from the Most High entered into them, and they stood upon their feet, and great fear fell upon them which saw them. All right, and right now, you know, you got the men out there representing and it tells you that in isaiah 19 that uh judah shall be a terror unto egypt you know it's mainly you know you got judah benjamin levi you know out there bringing it bringing it out and you know with based on what they're hearing from us you know people are you know some of them are are a little worried all right like you know guys like vocab and you know these are you know, Edomites that try to go back and forth with us, you can tell that they're in fear, man, that they 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 lose sleep. That's why they make nonstop videos about us. You know, because in the back of their mind, they know what we're saying is the truth. And they hoping like hell that it isn't. But you 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 people, you're gonna live to see <laughs> that that what we've been speaking is true. And when it does come to pass, then you should then it shall be known that prophets have been among you. All right. So great fear fell upon them, which saw them. They 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 saw the the, the progression. You know, they saw from back in the days when you know, I mean, it, 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 the Israelite was a it was it was a thing. You know, going back to the eighties and nineties. Then there was a big. Uh, it was a it was a it was a time period where a lot of dudes ended up you know falling away, you know the year two thousand controversy and all that, and you know the apostles was out there for a, a period of time and it wasn't seemed like they wasn't getting any fruit, and then two thousand seven hit they end up on YouTube, and the rest was history, you know and then you also had the other groups as well you know you had GOCC out there you had 
uh, IUIC out there. You had, uh, you know, Zabak, IUPK. You know, you had all of them out there. All right, uh, Priest Bonloya, you know, which he's in the spiritual realm right now, but he was out there. You know, he was uh, with uh, Priest Don Yala at the time. All right, but um, just the progression from those moments up until now. And now all of a sudden this, this truth is uh, it's pretty much mainstream now. You know, celebrities then came out since then and, you know, proclaimed their so-called heritage. You know, even though they're not fully in the truth, they just know of the truth. Now, you know, they're displaying our likeness in, you know, films, commercials, whatever it is, you name it, man. Cartoons. So, yeah, man, we in that time. And uh, you can do all the mocking that you want, but it doesn't it does not negate the fact that. You know, this word is uh is, is, is going to continue to go out and that everything's going to be fulfilled as it is written. All right. The most high, he, he, he can't be mocked. Galatians 6, verse 7, it says, be not deceived. The most high is not mocked. For whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. And according to the scriptures, you know, the Lord's going to come back to bring vengeance upon the world. All these nations are going to get it for their role in. You know, the, the, the uh, I'm trying to think of the, uh, of the term, but, you know, pursuing the Psalms 83rd chapter, you know, their conspiracy, all right, one another against the children of Israel. You know, the Lord's going to bring vengeance upon the Edomites for the bloodshed. All right, the, the, the heinous uh, crimes committed against us. All right, what he's doing against what he's doing to the world. So, yeah, you know, ain't nobody going to get away with anything. All right. And, and the Lord, you know, he's going to come like a thief in the night. You know, that the the uh, the one side, I don't know if that was meant to be a Saudi or whatever he was, but he told the Pope, the Jews have managed to summon their their uh, Messiah. You know, well, you know, the Lord, you know, he, he already told us that there would be signs that he would leave in the earth. Then the end will come. All right. Wars, rumors of wars. All right. Uh, earthquakes in diverse places. Uproars of the people. Famines, pestilences. Let me get a uh, second Ezra's nine. Yeah, second Ezra's nine. And uh, one, it says he answered me then and said, measured out the time diligently in itself. And when thou seest part of the signs pass which I have told thee before, then shalt thou understand at his very same time when the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world, and that's what you see happening now, thou, then shalt thou under, well understand that the Most High spake of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. All right? Because the Lord declared the end from the beginning through the, through the law and the prophets. For like as all that is made in the world have a beginning and an end, and the end is manifest. All right, they, they pretty much coming out and tell you, they'll tell you the truth right in your face, but they'll do it in a form of a comedy, you know, to get you to not take it uh, seriously. But we know. All right, it's, it's right in your face. Just like they're also are letting it be known, and they're putting it right in your face, you know, that, you know, Satan is pretty much the ruler or the god of this world. Okay, you know I showed you that with all the, you know, ritual performances at the Gram the Grammys this past weekend. All right, and, and the symbolism. <clears throat> They're gonna show you some more in uh, the Super Bowl this uh, coming Sunday. So you know Satan, he's pretty much the god of this world, and he's getting ready to go down. All right. So, um, yeah, I think that's 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 about it. <clears throat> Let me see. Uh,
Let me get this in Deuteronomy. Because they had the Israelites saying that they were liars. And it, and it and it's true, they are liars. All right. The, 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 those people over there, they're liars. And they're, they're being found out to be liars. I think it's uh, Deuteronomy 33. Let me go to Deuteronomy 33 real quick. Yeah, this is uh, Deuteronomy 33 and 29. It says, Happy art thou, O Israel, who is like unto thee, O people saved by the Lord, the shield of thy help, and who is the sword of thy excellency. Talking about the Mosai, Yah, Bashim al Shai. You know, and notice these, these people are devils, man. They had they had them, them the Israelites on there with no beards, all right, <laughs> dressed like in, in the, uh, the, the, the attire that the, one, the old one West. Uh, garments that they used to wear and they got them handing over to Pope some uh <laughs> it, it sounded like he said some crab some crab meat and we know that that's unlawful according to uh the scriptures you know but we know that the the, the, the Catholics and you know Christians they eat whatever they don't follow uh follow the dietary law so you know pretty much everything is, it was a freaking lie but now the truth that I've been without fruit is now being declared through the Israelites. Now the Lord bringing this word out, man, and, and teaching our people the, the, the truth, the, 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 the true uh, message behind the word of Mosai, man. All right, so it says, uh, And thine enemy shall be found liars unto thee, and thou shalt tread upon their high places. So they was even on the damn yacht with the Pope, <laughs> you know, prophesying. You know, cussing this man out. All right, so yeah, man, this this we're we're there, man. So uh, you know, Lord Willis is edifying. I ain't gonna make this a long video. I'm gonna give all praise, glory, and honor to y'all. Watch me out, shy to the next lesson. Shalom.